not the outcome we wanted. Um, definitely not the outcome we wanted, but um, I thought my team played um, Washington much tougher than we've played them the last couple games. So for that, you know what I mean, that, that's a positive that I could take from this game. Going into the break, we'll get some rest, both physically and mentally. Coach, they kind of jumped on you in the beginning of that fourth quarter. What did you see out there that kind of made the difference when they started to pull away? Yeah, that's a veteran team. That's what I saw. That was the difference. That was a veteran team finding the right shots for the right people at the right time, um, which is a big difference from us. We're not a veteran team. We're still a young team, still people figuring out their ways and playing and chemistry and all those different things. They've been playing together for multiple years, so they, they know each other really well. Um, so that that's really the, the difference. We, I thought throughout the game we did a pretty decent job. We didn't finish the game the way we needed to finish. Kia, yeah, how did you feel about your performance out there tonight? I just tried to come in and do what I was doing the game support, trying to be as solid as possible, helping my team on defense. Um, you know, it always sucks to lose, but overall we continue to grow each game. Um, just allowing my teammates to understand that we can't let this game defeat us. We're going to come back and we're going to be stronger. When, when you hear Coach talk about um, kind of the difference between the experience in Washington and, and you know, you're kind of like the, yeah. the vet of this team, um, I guess, you know, like just what do you want to do in that aspect of, of bringing that experience to the squad? Well, with experience, you know, it's time. It comes with time. They've been together. Their core has been there. They've been together for some years now. So that's where their experience comes from. And obviously the experience of not only playing together, but as long and then playoffs and then, you know, being in certain situations, um, they're learning from all of those things. And that's where we are right now. We're learning from these things as well. Coach, even though, you, oh, go ahead, even though you had lulls in the offense, talk yeah. about how the defense still responded, though. Yeah, I mean, I thought we actually guarded them pretty well at times, you know what I mean? Um, we had stretches where we just didn't execute the way we were supposed to defensively, but I thought overall we guarded them pretty well. Um, you know, EDD is a great player, so her getting 26 is just, you know, it's part of it's part of a everyday thing when, when she's on the court, but at the same time, there's things that we know about her that she likes to do that we have to be able to take away, I think, and we have – we have the ability to do that. We just didn't do that at times. And so, you know, you let somebody like her get easy baskets, you know what I mean? And then it just piles up and piles up. Well, Nick, you were kind of matched up against Deladon. What is kind of the mindset going on, going into a player with a bag such as, as deep as hers? You know, what's the mindset? I mean, you just have to take away certain tendencies, things that she likes to do. Um, there's plays I wish I could have gotten back. Now, you know, thinking about the game and when I watch film, I'm going to watch and say, dang, I wish I could get that one back. But yeah, she's an elite player, so it's tough. You just have to make her uncomfortable, make her do something she doesn't want to do. Mo, Coach, come. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, you got it, you got it. Coach, we talk about, you talk about like the lessons that we continue yeah. to learn yeah. during the season. Yep. What are we going to take away from this game as we go into the break? Yeah, so the one thing I think that we can take away from a game like this, to be honest, is that like details matter, especially when you're playing against a good team. When you're playing against a well-coached, good, both offensively and defensively, like how you execute the details, that matters big time. You know what I mean? So like she was saying, like she wish she could get some plays back. It's not anything we didn't tell her was going to happen. Ask her. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> it's not anything, hey, EDD's going to pump fake. You need to stay on your feet. Make her shoot over you. Different things like that. It's like... Those details, they actually matter. They make the, it's a difference between her scoring that point and her not scoring that point. So I would say EDD had 26 tonight, right? And I would say eight of them, right, was from our not, not focus on the details. And eight points, like when you look at the final score, you're like, oh, but you lost by 20. But eight points and like, you know, in between the game, like, it makes a difference. It's a confidence shaker. It's all these different things. Like, okay, she gets a wide open three-point. We know we can't let EDD shoot wide open three-pointers. Like, they need to be contested. But guess what? When she shot that, the timing of that, right, those are the details. So I think, like, as we're growing and becoming a more mature team, like, the one thing we can take about this is the details matter. The details matter. Well, what did you grab from, you know, kind of pre-All-Star break this season, and what do you want to take into post-All-Star break this season? 
Uh, I would say not just me, but collectively, we're just focused on resetting, getting our minds right, and just coming back. And something that we've been really focusing on lately is just being the toughest, hardest working team in the league. So coming back and bringing so much more of that. Coach, apologies if I missed this, but can you oh. talk a little bit about pride tonight? Like what, where that fell on um, comparison to the past three losses against this team? Yeah, I was. I, I said to them earlier, like I was. I was happy with the way that we responded to this game, the way that we came into this game. We played them much tougher um, than we have in the past, um, and so you know, that's my biggest thing. Is like as long as we're the hardest working, toughest team. Um, we had lulls where we could have done things a lot better, but we were still tough tonight. So I'm okay with, you know, I can, I can eat this L knowing that we played them tough. Um, I have one last question, non-basketball related. Uh, the president, he, you know, released a statement out about Brittany Garner today. Kia, that's your former teammate. Um, you know, I just wanted to know, I know it's a sensitive topic. What, what are you guys' kind of thoughts on that? How do you feel? What, what do you want to say to BG right now if you could say something to her? We want we want to bring BG home. <laughs> I mean, I, I think that sentiment has been very clear throughout our messaging, um, you know, throughout this season is that we want BG to come home. So anything that, you know, the POTUS can do to, to help bring her home, you know, we're encouraging them to, to go ahead and do that. She's a important part of our WNBA family. Um, we're clearly hurting without her, you know what I mean? Um, and so that's the message and we want BG home.